The man we had come to Ankara to see was taken off the West's most wanted list two years ago, but old habits die hard, and getting to meet him involved some cloak and dagger, cryptic phone calls and directions. After all, Agajan Motasim is the son-in-law of the Taliban leader Mullah Omar, whose views he says he represents. After 10 years on the run, he's now trying to bring about a negotiated end to the Afghan war. Are you concerned that there is not a lot of time left, given that NATO troops are due to leave Afghanistan in a year's time? I'm worried and I agree with you. When NATO forces leave, history must not repeat itself. We cannot go back to the bad old days that followed the collapse of the Najibullah government after the Russian withdrawal when the country was torn apart. Motasim was a prime mover behind the Taliban office that opened in Doha in the summer. This was supposed to be the catalyst for peace talks, but they were cancelled at the 11th hour over issues of protocol. Motasim told me at the time he was heartbroken, but that now he is very optimistic that talks will begin imminently. Why will the Taliban not declare a ceasefire? We should work towards terms and conditions for a ceasefire, and the Taliban are ready to come to terms. We do not love the war. Everyone, including us, is paying a high price. Motasim was finance minister in the Taliban government that ruled Afghanistan in the 90s. It was a dark period of cruelty and backwardness. The Taliban government, of which you were a part, didn't allow television. There's a television behind you. You're doing a television interview. You've changed. Have the Taliban changed? Afghanistan changed so. We have changed completely. We need and want television. We want a free media. But we Afghans also have our culture and religion. Change can happen within that framework. As if to underline the point, Motasim prayed and then took out his laptop. Who'd have thought it? A top Taliban leader online. John Irvine, ITV News, Ankara.